These days fly about me like knives flung by a burlesque queen in the red felt tent of a sideshow freak. I wake in a dust bowl of discontent, lying in the bloodshed of my innocence. The ferrous wheel of what we once were rusts in a paddock by a long, dry dam, and under a jury of nimbus clouds, I count the shadows of lingering doubt that finger the relics I've kept of you. Dwarfs play a dirge on flugel horns to a sun that rots beyond the horizon of what we thought we ought to have been. Now I should have known that what you told me was stolen from the suitcase of a rodeo clown camped on the roadside west of Cobar. Emus of umbrage kept me company under a cold, quiet avalanche of stars that tumbled down the sheer cliffs of my bewilderment. Time had fallen apart. Chaos galloped over those notions of you I drew and pinned to the silk-thin walls of certainty. I hold hope like water. Filter nuance and innuendo through the rose-coloured glasses I made for you. You, who told me so many things that struggled to be the truth of what they were. Orphans of yours that wore the tattered rags of integrity. These days, I crawl through rat-infested paradigms that lie dying on disused railway lines collapsing into the sea of somebody else's dreams. I searched for myself in the labyrinths of love and tripped over fragments of rune stones lying in lava tubes tunnelling through your heart. I pieced them together. You pulled them apart. And the shattered remains of what you held close morphed into a noose around your alabaster throat. And all those things I wished I'd loved about you fished from the lakes of your still black eyes and laid them all out to dry, like road crash victims in neat little rows, dying on the sandy banks of tomorrow. Why does the algebra of remorse always amount to so much more than the chorus of those songs I wrote for you and played on the broken clavichord of my heart? Somehow, the open throat of hope swallowed me whole and left me shipwrecked on the remote atoll of your indifference. You cut your mind on the coral reefs of hypocrisy while I gathered my regrets into a bundle of sticks and tried to light a fire on a storm-swept beach. Your silences wandered through the landscape of my dreams. White crows divining things I could never have seen. These days, I have visions of elves and dirigibles nailing picture frames to an antique moon, of unicorns playing trombones in claw-footed bathtubs in war zones where I've gone to read the rumours of you. In the autumn of your heart, you fled those pathways full of the footsteps that would wear you down. You woke inside a white-walled asylum, made your escape through the razor wire of, say, of fate and sailed to Cochin on a mission to lose what was left of what was right with the centre of yourself. In my mind's eye, I waved you goodbye. These days, I eat Vegemite sandwiches, drink Russian caravan tea, think thoughts into bow lines and clove hitches and throw them into the pig troughs of eternity. I've anchored myself to the remnants of you. On the cruel coastline of self-deception, we built a driftwood shelter in a shallow cave, scratched a mark on a stone wall for each truth we drowned in the little rock pools. That bouquet of yesterday you dropped at the doorstep of my memory, I've deadheaded it now. There's nothing left. And why am I always left alone to feel the bare bones of my aloneness? These days, the walls of truth stalk the fortress in my head where I keep the last vestige of you. A snake charm in a covered wagon. A slack wire walker on the way to redemption. What was it in those halcyon days that hibernated the acorns of my doubt away when you stood on some far-flung edge of reason 
dripping in sunshine and reaping freedom. These days, I dream of meeting God somewhere on a snow-covered mountain and laughing into the wind with him at all the things I once thought I should have been. But I've seen the wrecking ball of truth plough through towers and cathedrals of love. And I've seen the pallid flowers of forgiveness wither in fallow fields of absence. And I've seen the Pentecostal sky lying in ruin on the roadside, its guts rolled into the fabric of the bitumen. The stench drove me into ravines of discontent, the pilgrimage of my leaving wrapped in a swag, the orange-coloured cloud ploughed down to the horizon. These days, I don't think too much, <laughs> but imagine myself in the kitchen of being where I dress my wounds with a wormwood poultice and warm myself by the frail fires of faith. Here, at the altar of regret, I'm brought to my knees by the memory of your eyes, bright as lightning, striking the cast iron core of my heart. These days, I watch crows engorge themselves on the umbilical cords of newborn mornings from the cracked window of this arthritic farmhouse tilting toward perdition on the plains out west along with everything else out here. Something is dying. Fields full of sunflowers tip their heads to the sky. Zealots are waiting the second coming of a hand-me-down Christ already butchered and hung in an abattoir of longing. Now I've run as far as I can run down Clown Alley from the shadows of your knowing. But the dreams won't end and freedom's become this fire-eating act in a rainstorm and the sun keeps rising and the world keeps turning, roaming the infinite fields of space, this giant eyeball in search of grace. In the foundry of my mind, the metal of your words are forged, finally, into horseshoes of truth. I cast into the past and try to forget. But the black hands of time hammer retrospect deep into the flesh of memory. These days, I escape into canyons of silence. But there is no escape from the treason of regret. I comfort myself. But there is no comfort yet. <laughs>